It is the place that dare not be mentioned. It is the darkest of the dark. It is a place where men fear to tread, and where gods dare not look. Its name is followed by a thousand whispers. Hasa. Merely speaking, its name burns your mouth and signals the darkness. This place is the root of all evil in the Three Kingdoms. From here the Kasai spread their foul message and taint the land. Guide them well, Kuzo. We are approaching the end of our journey together. dare not mention its name. That dark temple, home to the evil that had befallen the three kingdoms. To the east, infecting the land, the Kasai's black mantle spread as far as the eyes could see. And there, like a sore at its center, was Hasa. Rao and Tati worked together, slowly ascending the temple's many levels. They worked together, yet there was a distance between them. Bitterness had overtaken them, and they gritted their teeth with unspoken argument and silent anger. Thank you. 
Three worlds that I, the teller of this tale, know of. The first is where we sit now as I speak. The place you were born, and where you shall one day be buried. The second is a place of light, whence all things came. Here live the gods of light and goodness, creators of our world, watchers of our stories, and the players of games. The third is a terrible place. A world of eternal darkness and pain, home to all things evil and cruel. Fear this place, and speak only of it in whispers, for it knows of our world and envies what we have. Book of the Damned, The Three Worlds, 1-8.
They were growing apart, each with their different opinions, each feeling strongly about the path they should take. But there was more to it than a simple disagreement. Since entering Hassa, their emotions had become amplified. With hindsight, I wish that I could have warned them of what was ahead. But I returned to each piece of destiny with no memories, lest I should unwittingly alter their path. Now, only they could determine their course. The future of mankind now hung by the tenuous threads of Rao and Tati's fraying relationship. My queen, I have been waiting for you. I am here to kill you, maybe see. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> Before you kill me, Tati, why don't you listen to what I have to say? Like you, I was marked. I too was hunted, scorned, and shunned by those around me. Cast out and resented, hated and feared. The Rakus took me into their numbers to protect me. <laughs> they have no idea the power that these markings possess. Protect me! It should be us protecting them! I fought with them. I argued that we should use the spells for ourselves. Armed with this ancient magic, nothing would stand against us. Nothing would dare oppose us. They didn't listen. They told me that the marks were evil. That they had the power to manipulate. That they could blacken and change a man's heart. Ooh, scary stuff, Tutty. Evil that will manipulate you if you listen to it. <laughs> kind of stuff you tell kids if you want them to do what they're told, maybe. The sort of stories you might come up with if you were, say, jealous. The sort of things you would say if you wanted to control something that you feared! So I betrayed them. I told the Kasai where their secret fortress was. I told them when and where to strike. Now, the Kasai, they listen to you. We come from lines of nobility destined to rule the land, Tati. We are marked, but not cursed, blessed. How else would you explain your awakening powers? No one will ever understand you more than I. We are the same, Dutty. Child, do you pay no heed to the prophecies of your own kind? Do you not understand that many destinies are overlapping here today? It is my destiny to free a god. It is your destiny to rule by his side. It is our destiny to unite the three kingdoms under the Kasai. I guess this all comes down to one simple question, Tati. You will join us and fulfill your destiny, or you will stay with the Rakus and fall with the last of them here today. You have uh, one minute to decide. We are not the same, Maybisi. You are a slave to your destiny, but I am free to choose my own. I bend to no prophecy. I am master of my own fate. I will never be queen. I will never unite the three kingdoms, and I will never be Kasai or Rakus. I am Tati Utu, sister to Rao Utu, adopted daughter of Baumusu, and I choose my own path. Prepare to die, sorcerer! Very well. The Rakus end here today. Now I will free Kree and be his host in this world! Anu Necrao Retondo! Anu ne
And so, at last, my journey was over. This had been the fracture. This was the point where fate had stumbled and the Kasai intervened. But Rao did not die at the hands of his sister, and treachery did not once again splinter the Rakus. The Oracle's work was done, and destiny had been corrected. Maybe Lord of the Kasai lay slain and his army scattered. The three kingdoms were released from Hassa's cold grasp, and the spells restored to their rightful place. Through her mark, maybe she had been poisoning Tati's mind, working to turn her against Rao and finally defeat the Rakus. But Tati was strong, and the blood of her forefathers ran thick in her veins. All the darkness in the Three Kingdoms could not turn her against her brother. They were both of the line of Uto and legends in the making. In all of her years, Tati never had a choice. She was born cursed, and her life was never her own. Now, for the first time, she is in control of her own destiny, and will answer to no one. In their haste, the Rakus protected the spell, and forgot about the person. Tati Utu has now created her own path. Who knows where it will lead. Kuzo, spirit guide, you have done well. Calm has been restored to the heavens, and destiny prevails. The gods owe you their favor. You shall be remembered for this. It is time once more for you to take up your charge, and go about the tasks set forth in your destiny. You are a spirit guide. You are a scout for the great Wao Utu, sent from the heavens to steer him in his many adventures. Your master is a legend who shall roam the Three Kingdoms, protecting it from Hasa and the evil of the Kasai. The security of the Three Kingdoms rests in his calloused hands, while his safety falls on your shoulders, Spirit Guide. You are his guide, teacher, and chronicler. Go from here, back to the beginning, back to your first meeting. Then guide him well, Kuzo. There are many adventures ahead. And so, this story draws to an end. Or maybe it stumbles across its own humble beginnings. As soon as we reached Tiru, I flew ahead quickly and guided the Rakus to the Mark Child that maybe she sought. Tiru was under siege, and Kasai troops were everywhere looking for the infant. I found her. Hidden away in an ancient temple, screaming and terrified, she had attracted the Kasai's attention. All that stood between her and them were the valiant efforts of her brother. Just a boy, but somehow managing to keep the Kasai at bay.
To hide the ancient spells inside the souls of men was a terrifying proposal. That someone should become the vessel of such an evil thing and damn their family lines forever. But the spells threatened the safety of the three kingdoms and somehow had to be dealt with. Amute was known to be the kindest among kings. Handing his bloodstained sword to his man at arms, he stepped forward and requested that he be one of the vessels. The sanctity and safety of his homeland depending on the destruction of the Kasai. Following his heroic gesture, the remaining leaders stepped forward and requested the same. Tangar and Thoth quietly pointed out that they would need one more in order to hide all of the spells away. Then out of the crowd stepped a young warrior from the north, still eager to prove his worth. And so Tao of the line of Utu cursed his line for all eternity with the mark of Kree. Book of the Damned, Rise of the Kasai, 5-5. Step aside, Rakus. The child is mine. Maybe, see. I thought I smelled Gangoon. We'll die first, Kasai. Oh, I know, I know. Kill them! Kill them all! Run, run, run. 
Magnus! Run! I'll see you again! I guarantee you the story does not end here! Your day is over! Now is the time of the Kasai! I'll find the child! No matter where you hide, I'll find the child! You have only begun to see Hatsa's might! This is just the beginning, Rakuz! This is just the beginning! Keeping to forest paths and back roads, Baumusu, Grizz, and the two children headed for Nungari. Two generations of Rakus, the last of their kind, on a mission of utmost importance. To find a garden at the center of a city, then plant the oracle seed. They needed instruction as to where they should hide the child, and so for the last time, Baumusu and Grizz communed with the oracle. Bamusu, Grizz, I am indebted to you both. You have plucked both the child and I from the hands of the Kasai. Even now, Mibisi rages. Take the children and head north of Taporoku to an inn by a lake. There you will find Rongo, its owner, a warrior sympathetic to our cause. Raise the children and train them well. But you must keep the girl's mark hidden and never tell them of her value to the enemy. Upon these children, the future of the Three Kingdoms depends. Rao and Tati, two children who would so shape my future and that of our world. Rao, whose name would be whispered to calm children on stormy nights. Hero of the Three Kingdoms, destined to one day sit amongst gods. And of course, Tati, whose story has yet to be written, be it good or bad. I still have more to tell, but am weary, so must leave that for another day. Thank you.